Hello, Alpha. Um, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm a physicist and I'm a researcher right now studying um, some interesting water that we've discovered. What's it called? It's called double helix water. And uh, the scientific name for this kind of structure is called stable water cluster. Stable water cluster. Okay, can you explain what's what are the physics of it? What's, what's, what are the yeah, physical so properties? Normal water, if you just put, say, a drop of it at room temperature on a table, it'll just evaporate. This water, you put a drop of it, will actually leave a little residue. Um, and uh, and if you look at closely, at it, there's a micron-sized rod-like clusters. What's what's the residue is made of? It's pure water. So. Um, so we actually, in the lab, prepare with very, very clean conditions, um, very clean water. And, and what's left of these residues is actually pure water. And they're kind of solid-like in nature. Okay. And you, uh, how do you prepare that water? So if uh, there's, a, there's actually a physics paper that's uh, published on this in Physics uh, Review A. And so uh, if you actually put a t take super clean water and then put charged particles in it, yeah and then um, dilute out this water, uh, dilute out the charge uh, continuously so that you're left with pure water. There's actually structures that will form in the water. Okay, so charged particles of what? Um, different types of charged particles. So in the, in the paper they looked at NaCl. NaCl? Yeah. Okay, so you put the NaCl in and then you progressively diluted it out? Yeah. And it creates the clusters? It creates the... different types of, all different types of uh, structures in the water and that, that's in the residue. Okay, um, so what, what are the interesting properties of that water? So you've been stu so, studying so, that so water? It looks like, yeah, so it looks like it actually generates an electric field. So the water actually is lined in a dipole shape, meaning that it has a positive and a negative end. So yeah. usually all the water molecules will randomly orientate so that the, if you average it out, it'll be, there's no electric field because they, all the different positive and negatives will cancel. But in, in, the, in the cluster itself, there's actually a positive and a negative end, it seems. So, it's some, it, and this is generating electric field, which has very interesting properties. Yeah, so it's kind of like a, a long electric dipole made of right. water molecules yeah. that are aligned. Yeah. Is that it? And what's interesting is that we actually see these um, stable water clusters wind around. So in the paper that just published, um, we actually have these atomic force microscopies, pictures of these water clusters winding around each other form a double helix shape, which is quite astonishing <laughs> to yeah. see water forming these shapes. Yeah, so you can produce that water reliably. Yes. Right? You yeah. have a procedure for, for making tons of it? Yeah, uh -huh. and it's being sold um, in the markets all over the world right now. So why, why do people buy that? Buy that um, you can get it on doublehelixwater.com. Okay, and what are the reasons people buy it? Um, so it, it seems to seems to help your, with your health, so a lot of people just feel healthier when they drink this water. And um, we've had some uh, researchers, uh, Professor Bonavita, at the, uh, who is the head of immunology at UCLA, has actually studied the effect of this water, um, these water clusters, on the immune cells, and he actually sees that the cytokine, which is the communication signal between different immune cells, will actually change when you add water. The, uh, this double helix water as opposed to, or stable water clusters, as opposed to normal water. Is and uh, we've, we've had Norman Shealy who's also done some tests on people in their body, they'll actually change the amount of cytokines that they produce. So is there a possibility that this water occurs naturally, like in people's bodies or...? Uh, yeah, so the theory, so um, my dad, Shui Yun Lo, who's a physicist, um, wrote a book uh, proposing that these stable water clusters actually align in the body and they actually form what's called the meridian system. So the, uh, in Chinese medicine and acupuncture, they propose a system called the meridians and they do acupuncture on these points and it seems to stimulate healing in the body. And while this has been clinically shown, it's been hard for Western medicine to accept because they haven't found a biological basis for it. And, but now we actually have a proposal that there are stable water clusters aligned between the cells in the interstitial tissue forming electrical kind of, it's almost like a fiber optic cable or kind of wire so that it allows more current and other um, molecules to pass. Wow, that's pretty fascinating stuff. So yeah, so in acupuncture, they've done some uh, biological tests on acupuncture. If you stick a needle in certain acupuncture, they'll actually see the macrophages 
um, degranulate, meaning they 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 send off other immune signals. And there's other cytokine effects, which are the immune cell signals that will be generated differently after you stick a, a needle in. And that's probably because it's activating a stable water cluster in some manner. Oh, wow. Okay. So you said you wrote a paper on this. Is yes. it, is it it's, published? It's published already? in the form of immunological immunopathological diseases and therapeutics. Okay, well, I'll check it out. Thank yeah, it's you. called this, uh, a soft matter state of water and the structures it forms. Because uh, what, we've, what we're proposing is this uh, state of water class is actually forming a new phase of matter that's not normally seen in water. Normal water is either solid, which is ice, liquid, or gas. Um, what we see these stable water clusters do, if you would put it on a piece of filter paper, would you see it bending around the filter paper? Uh-huh. And, uh, and it looks like it's kind of springy, and, and it also seems like it can wind around each other. So that's not something that normal ice can do, which is more of a solid crystalline shape. It can't bend, but this can actually bend. So it's kind of got some kind of gel-like um, structure. And in physics, there's kind of, uh, in the last 20 years, a whole new field has opened up called soft matter physics, which is studying this new phase. Soft and the proposal in this is that this water is a soft matter phase. Wow, that's pretty mind-blowing. Thank you, Alpha. Yeah.